This is the Curta, I mean, uh, Serta adding machine. I guess I got Curta on the mind. It was made around 1924 by uh, someone with an equally noble name, uh, Adolf Bort. In 1924, his name wasn't a, a hiss and a byword. But it's not exactly a clone of the Attics, even though it might look that way. Adolf Bort had been working for Attics, but by the time he built this machine, he left. Um, he had he was making these machines, and they were different enough to avoid any uh, patent protection that Attics still might have had. In fact, he made this machine in between when he was fired from one company and going to prison. It had the same tooth rack that drove the uh, accumulator. Each step was progressively less steep, so that way when the key hit it, it would move a progressively farther amount. When the 1 presses it, it's pretty steep, so it doesn't move very far. But then when the 9 presses it, it's uh, not quite as steep, so it moves it a big amount. That's a folding 10 button that could add 10 to it. It moves it even more. The clearing mechanism was a disappointment in that the lever only cleared the tens and hundreds spot. To clear it all, you'd have to add up to zero on the one spot, and then you could use the clearing lever. So this device was a, a column adder, in that when you add a whole bunch of numbers, you would add one column at a time, and then move on to the next one. Of course, I wanted to see how well it would do, so I had to time myself. Since there's no way to shift any carriage on this, when you add, you would add the, the ones column first, write down that total before moving on to the uh, hundreds column. Of course, you've got to clear it in between every, every column. This has no subtraction, so any sane person wouldn't want to do anything but addition on this. And, uh, I mean, you could multiply, but there's no point on a device like this. So I'm almost done now, feeling pretty good about my time. Okay, pretty good, 56 seconds. Now let's see how I do by hand. Okay, the sound came back on this clip to reveal a lot of talking to myself. Well, I think you might already be able to see where this is going. It surprised me when I, when I shot it, and I actually had to change my script to accommodate for it. There's so many column adders out there, I just assumed they'd be more helpful, but I never actually timed it until today. I want to circle back to that button which adds 10. A few minutes ago I talked about it in a positive light. I think that Bort included it so he could keep up with the addicts, which had one. But I've thought a lot about it and I can't see a helpful real world use for it. So when you refer to my list of numbers there, you see those two fives. Those add up to 10, so I could press the 10 button Yet, yeah, I was so focused on each number that I didn't notice that there was 10 fives to have the presence of mind to actually do that. There's a 10 down below there. I could press 10, but of course I would have to do that while I was adding the ones column. And then I'd have to remember to go back and when I was adding the, the tens column to not add that 10. So that would just take some mental energy and mess up my flow. Finally, there's a, there's a 15. I could press a 5 and a 10, which would add the 15, but then again, I'd have to remember that I did that when I'm adding the tens column. So if I look at this addix here, that does have it, the 10. That, that bar there is the tens button. Maybe that was Adolf's contribution to this. But when you look at the Adaris, which came out later, by that point, they too had determined it wasn't helpful, and they took it off. I have one last critique of the, of the uh, Serta that's illustrated by this um, half plus adder from uh, Yap Scarhouse's website. So this half adder only has five numbers because they determined that the, the top five, the top four numbers buttons weren't all that helpful. I wondered if the same thing could be applied to the Serta where you could maybe use um, four numbers for your four fingers and never even have to look at the device. Of course, that wouldn't work on the Serta itself because its buttons are a little small and my fingers are a little fat. But I still wanted to see how it would work, so I tried to do that. 
this took a lot of focus that I imagine if you did this a lot, you'd get used to adding those numbers. But for me, it was not natural. And in the end, it didn't save me any time. Plus, I got the answer wrong. So that's the Serta adder. Just kidding, that's the addx. Here's the Serta. Did you notice the difference? I ended this video with some critiques, but of course in the end I love this device. Just look at that purple. Thanks for watching.